Hey guys, we are uh, doing a little video for you on the Samsung tablet uh, with Backcountry Navigator with all the ATV side-by-side -side, uh, trails loaded on it. And uh, we, uh, we've had a lot of requests on how to use it and, and uh, I'm going to walk you through a few pointers that, that we know about it. But basically, um, I'm covering like the Galaxy Tab A or the Galaxy Tab E. Uh, they're they're really good tablets to use. There's a lot of other tablets out there, but but most people will use these Samsung tablets. Uh, this is an eight inch. Uh, we find that the eight inch is a little bit better because you can see the screen a whole lot more when you're riding around through the woods. Uh, this phone is just so small. But <clears throat> wanted to give you a little pointer on our tablets when we use them when we set them up. Uh, the tablet. Um, most of the time the screen will go off within a few minutes of activity. When we set hours up, as long as you keep your tablet connected to power while you're in your side-by-side, -side, then your screen will never go off. Um, so let's just go through a little bit of setup. But what we'll do is we'll go through, there's two videos. One will be uh, just basically a starter course, an introductory on how to use it. The next one will be a more detailed course about how to actually find waypoints and do things like that create waypoints and tracks and all but basically your tablet um, we use a ram mount uh, in our side by side to uh, hold the tablet keeps it out of the floor keeps it out of the mud and what you don't want to do is plug your usb cord directly into your cigarette lighter with a small um, with a small uh, cigarette lighter plug you want to use an inverter you know you buy this thing at, at lowe's or home depot plug it into your power outlet and then don't use the USB part use the power because you want a lot of power going to this tablet and if you do this this tablet will stay on and it will stay uh, up powered the whole entire time um, when you're on the trail and that's what you want and obviously it has to be powered up when um, when you're when you're vehicles turned on okay alrighty guys so now that we've got our tablet connected to the power and all we want to turn the tablet on and then we want to turn on backcountry navigator which this is our app here at the bottom when you turn it on the uh, screen will pull up and it'll show you know basically kind of where you left it off at so you can move the screen around by pinching your fingers or you can move the screen around by touching the zoom in and the zoom out button my wife obviously likes the zoom in zoom out button because if you're riding down the trails and you're taking your fingers and touching it and moving it around eventually i get lost where exactly what's going on so uh, she really likes the plus and the uh, negative uh, zoom in zoom out so what we want to do is when you first start your tablet up you want to figure out your location you know you can kind of you can go yourself and go around and look at the maps, but you kind of go, you know, hey, where am I located at here? So there's two ways to do it. You can either hit this button at the bottom, which is the location button here, or you can touch location at the top. So what you want to do is just touch location and hit my location. What it'll do, it'll go into acquiring the GPS signal mode. Um, sometimes this takes a while. Sometimes it goes real fast like mine has, but we've been using it a little bit this morning. So it depends on if you had it turned off or if you're inside of a metal building, things like that. But one thing I can tell you, if, you're, if your tablet sets here and it's acquiring signal and it doesn't show this yellow little yellow arrow, let me show you how to fix it. So what you want to do, if it just keeps setting there, and sometimes it takes a couple minutes to do, but if it's taking too long, go home on your tablet pull down, go to your settings button, and scroll to applications, which is apps, and then you want to scroll to backcountry navigator, and then go to storage. When you go to storage, you want to hit this little button called clear cache. And what this does, this clears the memory up in the tablet. So although the times you've used it and things like that, it gets all that junk out of the way, cleans it out, 
and makes it a, a fresh uh, start. So hit your home button back again. Now let's reopen Backcountry Navigator. Then when you go back and hit location, then it should acquire signal almost instantly and it'll actually show you where you're located. Um, and then one thing that we've realized is when you do this, your orientation is different because you're not moving. So I'm going to start up the machine and ride it around a second and get the orientation right so it shows north to south correctly and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've moved and got our orientation correctly, <clears throat> you can take your map and you can look around. And more than likely, if you're at home, you'll have to move your map around. If you're up in the areas of the trails, then you won't have to move it so much. But one way you can do it is you can actually just take this map, just like an interactive road map, and you can look around at it and you can find the towns. You can find the different areas that, you know, a lot of people say they want to go over in Colwood, Lookout Tower, Clear Fork, over at Bartley. And there's a place called Wilmore Dam. A lot of y'all have been to this place or some people actually want to go to this place. So as you can see, I kind of looked around and after you use the map a little bit, you'll kind of know where these places are located and you'll know where to pinch and move the screen to. Um, but basically BCN is made up of a couple different items. One is your tracks, which is your colored lines. And then they're made up of waypoints, which is Wilmore Dam. Um, Anything that's labeled on here like Rotorfield or Spike's Doghouse, Big Sandy, those are waypoints. So the waypoints is kind of like the points of interest. There'll be gas stations, different things like that that you can go to. And I want to show you how to search for waypoints and actually track and, and create a line. Uh, this GPS doesn't do turn-by-turn um, -turn directions but it has a go-to feature in BCN that actually create a line as the crow flies, for instance. So let's say, let's say you're looking at your map and you're looking at the general area that you want to go. If you come over here and hit these three lines and you go down to list tracks or waypoints, what it's going to do, it's going to bring up every track or waypoint that's on your screen first. So you can kind of see and you can scroll down. You can kind of look and say, hey, you know something? Wilmore Dam. I want to go to Wilmore Dam. So there's two ways to do it. You either find out where it's on the map and you follow your yellow line until you get where you're going, or you can use the go-to feature. So let's use the go-to feature. So Wilmore Dam, you'll touch the, the uh, waypoint. You'll go up to the top and you'll see a, a, a little arrow that says go to. Some tablets you'll hit the three dots and it'll say go to. But we want to touch go to. So let's hit go to. This is actually showing our waypoint where we're going. We want to hit OK. And now what we have is we have a line directly shown. Let me bring in the screen where you can see it. From where your current location is to where you're going. So when you're driving down the trail, you follow this and keep your arrow and point it as close to that line as you can. And when you're going down these trails, you just stick straight to that arrow and eventually you'll end up at the waypoint that you want to go to. So that's the only way I know of for it actually to tell you which way to go. Uh, so you just have to read the map a little bit. In order to turn go to off, you'll hit the location button. Let me do that again. You hit the location button and it'll say stop go to and you hit stop go to and it'll say yes so that's the basic use of backcountry navigator uh, use the tablet and get out there and the more you use something the better off you're going to be with it, the more you're going to learn from it don't wait till you actually get on your trip trying to figure it out uh, use it at home uh, go through it check out what the settings are and check out what the you know how to use it and stuff um, the next video we're going to do is going to be the Backcountry Navigator Pro Advanced. And we're going to go over the, the stat screen. We're going to go over the compass that's located in it. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you how to create waypoints and tracks. So if you're going on outlaw trails, things like that, you'll be able to um, go out and record them and you won't get lost. So uh, check out for the next video and uh, we'll see you soon out there on the trails.